I thought I'd make a short video for YouTube. This is uh, January 30th, 2018. <clears throat> I've been away from doing projects and working on YouTube videos. Uh, I've, I've had some health problems, but they, the health problems, I have to say, were very minor and nothing life-threatening or anything. It's just that with a lot of different things, I got distracted, but you're looking at my main distraction. This is a, a work I'm doing for a client. It's a clavinet D6. And I have to say I'm having trouble with it. Uh, it it's being rebuilt and customized using kits that I was supplied with. But I'm having trouble with it. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to get in trouble with the uh, people who supply the kits for these. But there's something not working exactly right uh, in it. Anyways, this is one distraction I have right now. And you can see it, it occupies most of my workbench. It's a mess in here. I admit that. Here's the 1948 Sylvania TV that I had been working on. I'm still recapping it, although I can't work on it now. But I've got, I've been doing uh, some recapping underneath in the high voltage cage replacing capacitors in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to ever get this thing working and the biggest problem of course is this transformer right here which is an issue. I probably will end up with two two power supplies to run this set. There's plenty of room in, in the cabinet to put a, an auxiliary power supply below. But what he had was this transformer puts a B plus voltage at least 100 volts higher than it's supposed to be. And he had a weird shunting circuit in there that shunted down the uh, the horizontal drive to the horizontal circuits. And I assume that what was happening is maybe it was too high. I don't understand it, but he, he put that in. I took that out, of course. The shunt to, to ground through a resistor. <laughs> Very strange. But I took that out. So this is another project I need to get back to. Here is my old ham radio desk. The 500CX uh, doesn't work. I, I don't get much uh, output on it. And I don't know why the, the sweep tubes in it test wonderful on the tester. But it, I can't get any wattage out of it. So I have to put that on the bench and fix it one day. Here is an Ultra 10 Spark uh, Sun Station. Has a bad NVR uh, RAM chip. Easily fixed. But it's another project I haven't gotten to. <laughs> so uh, I guess this is a video of showing of unfinished projects. So that's where I'm at right now. Now look at this mess. What a mess. I got to really get in here and clean this up. But what you see below is the Zenith 19 inch set that I actually had restored it to working condition and it hasn't made its way into my house yet. Here it sits. Uh, I've got it turned around backwards uh, so I could remove the chassis easily but it's, it's a done deal. I, I got that one done. It just needs to make it into my house. Isn't that... Uh, boy, that's really something. And then, of course, there's my Dumont from 1959. That needs to be uh, gone over. It's got a horizontal problem. The frequency is way off on the horizontal drive. That i got to fix. That uh, uh, radio on the top there is something I'm never going to work on, probably. What a mess. Uh... There's a, uh, that uh, record player up, up on top is a, uh, uh, an interesting record player that I had thought to get to. It's a web core. Uh, if you ever saw that, that horror anthology on TV, uh, I forget what they call it, American Horror Story with the uh, Insane Asylum. <laughs> that was the very record player that was always playing in, in, uh, in the insane asylum. That's another project. Will I ever get to it? I have no idea. 
I have to, I just I just got to clean up this mess. It's just a mess in here and of course I want to get that clavinet D6 out of my life. I boy that's been a difficult project to work on. I don't think I'd ever want to do another one. <clears throat> so that's the state of what's going on in my shop.